Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Parasitology series. Today we'll be discussing Leishmania Dunuwani. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell you that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things may change, treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is welcomed in the comment section. Let's get started. Leishmania. Leishmania is an intracellular protozoan parasite. It is a genus of trypanosomes. It is responsible for the disease Leishmaniasis. Classification. Leishmania is classified into the following four parasites. Leishmania donovani. It is responsible for causing visceral Leishmaniasis. That is also called as Kala Azar. Next one is Leishmania tropica. That is responsible for causing cutaneous leishmaniasis in all world countries. Leishmania mexicana. That is responsible for cutaneous leishmaniasis in Americas. Leishmania brasilensis. That is responsible for mucocutaneous leishmaniasis in Central and South America. In this picture, you can see the amastigotes and promastigotes inside a macrophage and these are of Leishmania donovani. I'll talk about what are the Leishmania's amastigotes and promastigotes a bit later. In this picture you can see Leishmania tropica and that one Leishmania brasilensis and that one Leishmania mexicana. As I've told you earlier that today we'll be looking at Leishmania donovani. We have talked about its introduction, now I'll be talking about its morphology, habitat and transmission, life cycle, pathogenesis and epidemiology, clinical findings, lab diagnosis, treatment and then prevention. Morphology. Leishmania exists in two forms. The first one is amastigote and the second one is promastigote. A mastigot is round or oval. It is 2 to 6 into 1 to 3 micrometers. It has delicate cell membrane. It has round or oval nucleus. Flagellum is absent. Promastigot. It is long, slender, and spindle shaped body. 15 to 20 into 1 to 2 micrometers. It has thick cell membrane. It has round or oval nucleus. Flagellum is present. In the picture on the right side, you can see the A mastigot. It is round, has thin delicate membrane, has round or oval nucleus. It also has some basal bodies, can natoplast, and it has no flagellum. On the other hand, if we look at the promastigote, it has a round oval nucleus, it is long, slender, it has flagellum, kinetoplast, and basal body. Habitat. Intermediate host, saint fly, female vector. Definitive host, variety of mammals such as humans, foxes, dogs, and rodents as reservoirs. The farm a mastigot, it is found in human beings, in the cells of reticular endothelial system, especially in spleen, liver, and bone marrow. While the promastigotes are found in the gut of female saint flies. Transmission. Transmission of leishmaniasis occurs via the bite of saint flies. Only female flies are the vectors. Because only they take the blood meals, a requirement for egg maturation. Here you can see the female saint fly. It has a pair of wings, a head, antenna, proboscis, thorax, legs that are longer than body, abdomen. It uses its proboscis to suck the blood from the infected host. Life cycle of Leishmania has two stages. 
the saint fly cycle and the human cycle. Saint fly cycle. When the saint fly sucks blood from infected host, it ingests macrophages containing amastigotes. After dissolution of macrophages, the freed amastigotes differentiate into promastigotes in the gut. They multiply and then migrate to the pharynx and proboscis where they can be transmitted during the next bite. The cycle in the same fly takes approximately 10 days. Human cycle. Shortly after an infected sand fly bites a human, the promastigotes are engulfed by macrophages where they transform into amastigotes. Amastigotes can remain in the cytoplasm of macrophages because they can prevent fusion of vacuole with lysosomes. The infected cells die and release progeny amastigotes that infect other macrophages and reticuloendothelial cells. The cycle is completed when the fly ingests macrophages containing the A mastigots. The diagrammatic representation of the life cycle of Leishmania. On the left side is the sand fly stages and on the right side are the human stages. Step number one is that saint fly takes a blood meal and injects promastigotes stage into the skin. The promastigotes are phagocytized by macrophages. The promastigotes transform into amastigotes inside macrophages. Amastigotes multiply in cells, including macrophages, of various tissues. Then Saint fly takes a blood meal from the infected host. It ingests macrophages infected with amastigotes. Ingestion of parasitized cell. Amastigotes transform into promastigote stage in the mid gut of the vector fly and then divide in mid gut and migrate to the proboscis. And then the fly bites the human again and the cycle is repeated. Pathogenesis. Leishmania donovani is responsible for the disease visceral leishmaniasis, kala azar, or it is also called as black sickness. I'll talk about why. Causative agent is Leishmania donovani, and the incubation period is three to six months. In visceral leishmaniasis, the organs of the reticular endothelial system, liver, spleen, and bone marrow are the most severely affected organs. Reduced bone marrow activity coupled with cellular destruction in the spleen results in anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. This leads to secondary infections and a tendency to bleed. The striking enlargement of spleen is due to combination of proliferating macrophages and sequestered blood cells. The marked increase in IgG is neither specific nor protective. Hyperpigmentation in the skin is caused by an increase in the melanin pigment that is responsible for the skin colors in the human beings. That is why it is called black sickness because of the hyperpigmentation. Epidemiology. With proper therapy, the mortality rate is reduced to almost 5%. Kala Azar occurs in three distinct epidemiological patterns. In one area, which includes Mediterranean Basin, the Middle East, Southern Russia, and parts of China. Reservoir hosts are primarily dogs and foxes. In Sub-Saharan Africa, rats and small carnivores, for example, civets, are the main reservoir. The third pattern is seen in India and neighboring countries, and Kenya. humans appear to be the only reservoir. Clinical findings Fever, initially continuous or remittent, later becomes intermittent. Weakness and weight loss. Massive splenomegaly, that is characteristic feature of leishmaniasis. Slight hepatomegaly, 
lymphadenopathy. Hyperpigmentation of skin is seen in light-skinned patients, Kala Azawin's black sickness. Anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. GIT bleeding, progressive emaciation. Emaciation is a state of abnormally thin or weak. Cause of disease runs for months to years. Initially, patients feel reasonably well despite persistent fever. As anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia become more profound, weakness, infection and GI tract bleeding occur. Untreated severe disease is nearly always fatal as a result of secondary infection. Lab diagnosis specimen, a real record, lymph node aspirates, blood, spleen, liver and bone marrow puncture biopsies, microscopy, Zimza stain smear and sections are observed under microscope for visualizing amastigotes, touch preparation for amastigotes, culture for visualizing promastigotes, serology, we do this for antibodies, Indirect immunofluorescence tests, that is positive, in the case of leishmaniasis. Heme agglutination antibody test, and in leishmaniasis, there's high concentration of IgG antibody. Indirect fluorescent antibody test, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA. The Leishmanin skin test, LST, using a crude homogenate of promastigotes, leishmania, as the antigen is available. It is negative during active disease but becomes positive in patients who have recovered from leishmaniasis. Immunity. Immunity varies with time of treatment and condition of the patient. Recovery results in permanent immunity. Treatment. Pentavalent antimonial, for example, sodium stibogluconate or liposomal amphotericin B is the drug of choice. Pentamidine isothionate is a safe and effective first-line treatment for old-world leishmaniasis. Prevention. Protection from saint fly bites by using netting, protective clothing, and insect repellents. Insecticide spraying. Vaccination significantly reduces the incidence of oriental sore. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials. I've got my Instagram. I've got my Twitter and I rarely upload blogs, so do check that out. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You've learned something. Give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Till next time, Allah Hafiz.